Hello beautifuls, my name is Coivier and I'm the creator of Juju Time. In today's video, I'm gonna channel down a message from the Divine Dark Cosmic Mother and their messengers. Messages that will align us and guide us towards our individual path towards peace, love, joy, and abundance. As this is a collective message, definitely be sure that you lean into your intuition, lean into your guides, so that way you can hear the message that they brought you here to listen for, okay? In the description below, there will be timestamps if there's any particular area that you're feeling particularly called to. Uh, but in general, this will be a full message or, or a screenshot, if you will, of what spirit would like to say to you in regarding to that area. All right, so let's begin. All right, beautifuls. Currently, you're definitely in a state of working some magic, of really beginning to step in and be. And what that really requires of you, the harmony that it requires of you. There's a balancing act that you are pretty much playing with in your life right now. It's definitely um, in regards to what you are wanting to bring into your life, of what you're wanting to receive. And also it's like alchemizing your environment right now. There is definitely some magic that you are participating in when it comes to you and what you're wanting. The energy that is currently surrounding you is one of claimage. You are claiming um, your responsibilities. You're seeing what's laid out before you and this energy is allowing you to see what it is in front of you so you can work with it and sort of elevate this, this sense of, okay, I have this in front of me. What can I do with this? This is this energy that's entered into your life is very much a gift and it's wanting to give you more. It's wanting to allow you to feel more, um, to experience more, to request more. But you have to be definitely open to receiving this offer that this energy is bringing into your life. This also for a few could be more responsibilities coming into your life that this energy is also wanting you to um, sort of step into hence why you're in a current state of being there's been an energy shift within you for those that may have trouble or may be pushing away these responsibilities it's definitely putting you in a space of being very passive when everything in your in your soul in your spirit is wanting you to be okay so definitely be careful of being very passive this energy is also wanting you to blend your pleasures okay right now there's such a there's like Things are separate in your mind. When spirit says there is no separation of whatever it is that you're co-creating with your guides, with the creator, there's nothing separate. So for example, for example, spirit is moving through me, um, let's say a painter, you know, or you do art of some, form or fashion and let's say you are a gardener at the same time you know and in your mind there's like this separation but there's this blended pleasure of this experimentation this offer that this energy is sort of giving you of this co-creation in your life follow your instincts Step into this, um, this being energy. 
this create this creation kind of energy that you're currently in. Okay. So what's coming into your life? More truth is coming into your life. Okay. So this definitely could be more truth connected to your um, your purpose. More truth of whatever it is that you're currently going through right now and you're needing to get more clarity in something spirit wants me to mention that sometimes truth is neither good or bad it just is okay so keep that in mind is to help guide you to to the right path to give you more information okay also what's coming into your life that spirit wants me to speak on is very much this balancing act of your restrictions or these perceived or actual restrictions and what it is that you're bringing in. So this is again just more harmony that is coming into your life and you really being called to balance out. Are these restrictions really restrictions? What have you learned? Saturn, the energy of Saturn, um, so a few of you could be going through your Saturn return, but Spirit is definitely wanting to highlight Saturn and the lessons that Saturn has taught you. If you have already gone through your Saturn return, Spirit wants to remind you of those lessons during that time. Okay? So this is coming into your life to, to, yeah, to, is to provide you with more dominion, over where you're going dominion of more of a clear of more of a optimistic vision an optimistic vision of of what's possible yeah you're definitely standing on some kind of horizon right now in your life and this horizon is sort of calling you to ask more questions more questions of what you're wanting, what you're needing, and how your current reality um, could be causing any kind of restrictions and questions of how can you go above those restrictions or how can you alchemize these restrictions? Are these even restrictions or can this be played with like there's there's just so much magic a lot of alchemy harmonizing this is not about you choosing one or the other like it, this or this there's almost this truth of yes to both kind of energy it definitely feels very much audacity like in a way, it's almost as though like it doesn't make sense, but somehow it perfectly makes sense. And it's like, how did I not see this all along? Like how, but because now is the time for you to see it. This is that energy, that offering. So, so continue asking those questions. Continue going forward asking it. Okay, you're physical environment want right now is one of just fulfillment. I'm definitely feeling a great, great gratitude for the present. It's almost like this spirit is moving through me almost as though, yes, things are not perfect, but I'm seeing that Things are perfectly aligned. So in a way, you are seeing this. It, once again, it may not make any sense, but there is some kind of um, success that you are in currently right now. And there's very much like this action, action uh, forward in this like sharpening aspect that's uh is when i say sharpening because of these questions 
this clarity, this truth that is coming in or a truth that is going to be revealed to you that will then open up more doors of what's possible or this could be in a form of like a rejection, but in a way it clarifies something for you, right? So this sharpening in your physical environment, this sharpening is very important because of these questions that you're asking. It's just making you very laser sharp in what you're wanting to receive, of what you're willing to receive, what you're wanting. This is you being very, very, very open right now. The lesson you can be learning from your physical environment right now that Spirit wants me to mention is taking a look at things that are holding you back, mindsets that you're holding, uh, that is holding you back, any kind of restrictions. Restrictions is coming up a lot in your reading because there's something that needs to be just overcome when it comes to these restrictions. Once again, whether they are perceived or actual restrictions, it's we're getting a new perspective on something of some restriction and realizing that this new perspective is where this success lies. It's like your own personal understanding, your, this information that you were given. And it's in your current environment right now, in your physical environment right now. Okay, what is leaving your life? Ah, solitude. <laughs> Straightforward, solitude is leaving your life. We have this mirroring that is happening with what's coming into your life and what's leaving your life there's a mirror that is happening definitely if you're feeling called to join community this would be a beautiful time to reach out take chances you've been very much in this state perhaps where you've been finding your inner teacher your inner voice your inner knowing and now we are actively stepping into the voice, actively being and allowing this new information that you found within to really encompass you. Allow yourself to change. Allow this death to occur. It's not even, no, it's a shedding. It's more of a shedding that is taking place. And because of this shedding, it's more layers of who you truly are is just shining so much brighter. Also, what's leaving your life is silence. So like being silent towards things. I don't know why that's like things that you never spoke about. And I'm definitely seeing an individual beginning to finally speak about it. So if you're being uh, called to um, get into therapy or anything like that again, this definitely could be a very good time for you to reach out. You've done what you can up to this point and now it's time to enter back into the world of not being afraid of the world. The world is what spirit wants to offer you if you just open your arms, open your heart to receive it. Why is this needing to leave your life? Oh, wow. I love that, the Two of Cups. Yeah, there is an alignment that is happening. And by you stepping out of your comfort zone, allowing that skin to shed, yeah, you may not recognize yourself, but then you get to explore a whole new part of yourself, a whole new aspect of who you are, right? This is that energy of, the very beginning of what we're of what I was talking about of what spirit was showing me in regards to you being and that is that is where you currently are that's where your soul and your spirit currently is it's just being feeling very ready and also with what's leaving your um 
of what's leaving your life and the reasoning why it needs to leave your life, you are very much addressing your needs, your pleasures. And perhaps this is that harmonizing. Perhaps there's been such a focus on what you didn't have or any kind of restrictions. And now you're realizing that there's this rebalancing that perhaps you are leaning so far into the logical and now spirits of what's being offered and what's coming into your life and this energy that's surrounding you it's offering you this space of claiming that your needs are not frivolous that they are important and perhaps that's that that's that dominion that spirit is showing of why it's coming in like i said there's this mirroring that is happening with what's coming in and what's leaving there's a beautiful mirroring i love this all right let's look at your spiritual environment what's happening in that realm okay we have the judgment card internally things are awakening within you there's something within you that's very innate that you need it to remember. I remember. I remember. I remember. This is what Spirit is showing me. I remember. I remember that I'm important. I remember my purpose. I remember who I am. I remember my needs. I remember. Whatever it is that you're needing to remember, Spirit wants you to open your arms, open your heart to receive it. This awakening, it's sending ripples in the spirit world saying, oh, I think, I think they're ready. I think we can usher in this new offering. And this is that energy that's currently surrounding you. As I said, like you see what you have, but spirit is still offering you more, more responsibility. And then perhaps this is that energy. This is that energy coming in and this ripple effect that's happening in your unseen world. Very interesting. I recently did um, a video of an Afro wisdom tale with Oya and her dark mirror. If you, um, if you haven't seen it, I recommend that you go and give that a listen because there is some kind of like winds of change that is happening internally, that's happening in your unseen world yeah like this calling this calling so if you've been feeling very um guided towards something i say follow it follow allow yourself to awaken allow yourself to remember be open to receiving right now receiving messages receiving guidance it, it might not make sense honestly it might not make sense, but it's not, it's kind of not up to you. It's almost how, you know, when I give readings, these, oh, these cards, what's going on? Okay. When I give readings, right, and I give these collective messages even, sometimes I have no idea what it means. I, I feel it move through me. I see it. And I just speak it, you know, it's, it's not meant to make sense to me, right? And that's what spirit is wanting me to tell you is like, it's not, it might not make sense right now of why going back to that example of what I was talking about earlier with like, you are uh, a gardener and you paint or you're some kind of artist and how those things can mingle and mix right it's this or this but it's like spirit is saying no it's it's both it's yes to both yeah there's some kind of there's there's a lot that is awakening in your unseen world in your spiritual world so heed the call heed the call and go forward with this shedding Go forward with it. So looking into some inner work and outer work to better align and guide us towards peace, love, joy, and abundance. 
Okay, so for the inner work, Spirit wants me to remind you that quick work is not always good work, okay? Quick work is not good work, okay? So this idea that you're running out of time, this idea that, or if it's not that you're running out of time, it's also that you're gonna miss the boat, or you're gonna miss something, you know, it's very big FOMO, like fear of missing out kind of energy. And there's this, once again, I wanna say claim, claim again, this claim of you are aligned, that there is no coincidence, right? That you are exactly where you need to be. Once again, pointing to that physical environment where you are right now, and that environment having a lot more uh, keys to your success than you think. That you're not as bound up, uh, once again, from you know the lesson that you can be learning from your physical environment, you're not as bound up as, uh, as it may seem. That you do have the ability to break free. So yeah, Spirit wants me to, uh, in terms of that inner work, a lot of these deeper emotions, um, or even the path that you're walking, it takes time. Allow yourself to take the, you know, whatever time that you need to be open to receiving, opening up your heart space, open, you know, and opening up your arms to receive. You know, giving yourself time to find the community, giving yourself time to ask these questions that you're needing to ask so you can get better truth to come into your life. Or not better truth, to get truth in general to come into your life. Like no more like half truth, it feels like. Because once again, as I said, we're sharpening, something is being sharpened. So there are, there, there's no half-truths anymore. Hmm. So yes, inner work. You are perfectly aligned. You are perfectly aligned and Spirit wants you to remember that. Okay? Be dedicated to your growth, to learning, of not being rushed. Don't rush the process internally. And perhaps that's where the truth is going to be, is when you're not trying to rush the process, not trying to rush the lesson, or not trying to rush whatever growth you're trying to get into. It's, there's a journey. The destination is great, but a part of that journey, that internal journey, is important. Love that. And for the outer work, Spirit wants to um, emphasize the trap that you may have found yourself in in the past of like you're going around in circles like things keep happening again and again and again or at least that's what it these restrictions are coming up again <laughs> that's what it seems like that's what it seems like and that's your truth and that is something that i don't want to take away from you right if you do feel like wait a minute this is happening again and again perhaps it is perhaps there's a truth there that or something that that needs to be remembered and this is why it keeps happening again but instead of seeing it as like this circle it's like it's more of a spiral and i and it's like you know this you definitely have this knowledge already anyway so there's this effort that spirit wants me in terms of your outer work what you can be doing is Remembering your lessons. Yeah, we have a your physical environment and your outer work. Once again, we have another perfect mirroring that is happening. Begin to harvest this knowledge. Begin to harvest everything you've learned thus far and put it into practice, actual practice. You know what it is that you need to do, okay? Um, if you know that you should be taking more spiritual baths, do it. If you know that you need to be um, saying certain prayers on certain days, do it. There is an effort, almost this dedication that 
spirit wants you to actively be in once again we are stepping into being just you are it's not this or this it's both okay so alrighty that's the inner work outer work that can assist you align you towards your individual path towards peace love joy and abundance I hope that this a uh, message gave some clarity of where your spirit is this you know the energy that's currently surrounding you what's coming into your life what's needing to or what is leaving your life it's not needing to leave your life it's going to leave your life solitude is going to leave your life <laughs> oh goodness um and also what's going on in your physical environment what's going on in your unseen world your spiritual environment um and just give us better access of being open and receiving. That is very much the message here, okay? Be open to receive this new information and allow it to sharpen you, allow it to sharpen your focus, allow it to balance, allow it to um, bring in this energy of remembering, yes. And, and then, once again, allow the, these internal winds of change that are happening to then be manifested outward. Because once again, you are shedding, you are shedding. Hence why this trap, this circle energy, Spirit wants you to get out of it, step out of it. You are this restriction that you are trapped somehow. Mm. They're like, no, there's no trap. There's no trap. Mm, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So anyway, thank you so much for being here with me and until the next one, truth and love. <laughs>